Hey! Ah! Get this bad boy inside. Yep. Five and a half years. Five and a half years, man. Oh my God! <laughs> She's home. Oh. Look, Logie, look. I had Alan Haynes sign this oh, yeah. in Dallas. There's two little Still. Sharpie marks right there. Oh my gosh, dude. This is undoubtedly my guitar. Dude, let's plug it in. I know. Well, the, the neck is absolutely flat. The, it it needs some serious work. And it's, what, did Billy Gibbons steal this thing? It feels like it's got <laughs> sevens on it. At 2012 in Pittsburgh was the last time I saw this in person. Yeah, at the Hard Rock. Because I have a photo of you holding it there. That was before you worked for us. Yep. You know, they've sanded off certain character marks on the guitar to, I don't know why, I guess maybe they thought it would look cooler without all of my personality on it, but it's pretty spectacular. I like what they did with it. This thing feels exactly like a So I put so many years of work on this thing. Wow, that's weird, man. This one like took the took the brunt of it so she didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to see that the wear is like in the exact same yeah. spots. The guitar was traveling around without a case. It was stolen from me in a soft bag. And it went to a car dealership and was purchased for a thousand dollars at a used car dealership. I called all the pawn shops in the area and no one had any information about it. And then uh, I got a call from Caleb saying this woman reached out again. She thinks that they have your guitar. River City Guitars in Spokane has your guitar. So I got the number for the guy. I called him this guy named Bobby, really nice guy. He said, hey man, I'm 99% sure I have your guitar sitting right here. He sent me pictures and I knew immediately it was my guitar. I was shaking. I was so excited. Oh. 